my channel, it's your girl Jackie O. If you're new, you're welcome. You have picked the perfect day to join us. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I've kind of done some rearranging in the makeup room. And I literally feel like today's the first day of fall. It feels like a new season here on Jackie Ina's channel. That's exactly what it feels like. New setup, new season, like, like fall season. And now it feels like a new season on the Jackie Ina show, if you get what I mean. So Makeup Geek, who is no stranger on my channel, such a huge fan of their products has released a new line of duochrome shadows and pigments. I was one of the first to receive them and they wanted me to do a swatch video so you can see what they all look like. And I can tell you right now, they are totally, totally, absolutely worth the money. The eyeshadows retail for $6, same as the old price, and the pigments retail for $12, same as I believe the previous price as well. And if you don't know what a duochrome is, it's basically a color that looks certain way, but when you put it on, it actually reflects something else. So it's kind of this really like multi-dimensional color. It's totally giving me like mermaid, sexy. It's just, it's, it's the exact opposite of like a flat monotone color. It's like literally two colors morphed into one. So I'm a huge fan of duochromes. They typically are more pigmented and they look really good on darker skin tones. I haven't done a swatch video in quite a long time. But anyway, like I said, I got the whole collection with the exception of like one, which I checked the website and it's out of stock. So they just didn't have to provide. So without further ado, I will start off with the eyeshadows. The one thing that I can say that I really, really like about duochromes is in my opinion, I feel like you don't have to work as hard to get them to really, really look good because it's like two eyeshadows in one. So you just pop it on. It's like, oh, it looks that color from this angle, from this angle, it looks like a different color. You know what I'm saying? There's duochrome eyeshadows, there's duochrome pigments, there's duochrome nail polishes. Like we've all seen what it looks like. It's just more appealing to the eye in my opinion. So here I have 10 of the newest eyeshadows and I actually do, and I actually do have all eight of the pigments. I guess I did a miscount, which is, even better. So without further ado, I'll just give you a quick intro. It seems like Marlena was inspired by a lot of greens this season. A lot of like evergreens, a lot of chartreuses, forest greens, and even a hint of a little bit of aquamarine. And there's some lilac shades in there, a peach and this kind of brownie copper. I'm just such a perfectionist. I put them in like chronological order. Would that be considered chronological? I put the, I color coded them. Okay. So I'm going to start with, ooh, Voltage is super. Oh my God. Voltage is dope. Voltage is really doing something to me right now. Voltage is like a super, super high shine yellow green. It would definitely be one of those like inner corner colors that you can use with all of your green looks. I have Karma, which is quite similar. It's just a little bit more green and it is, oh, it's hard. I'm trying to think of the way that I can describe Karma. Um, it's a lime, it's a lime green. It's a yellow lime green, super, super high shine. Again, it would make a great inner corner color. And then I have Ritzy and Ritzy is definitely like a green brown. The, the base is brown and it reflects like a, it reminds me of like a chartreuse. It's literally like the sparkly color of the shirt that I'm wearing right now, like the exact same color. And this is what I am wearing on my lids today. I did wear all of Makeup Geek so you can see firsthand what we working with because they are beautiful shadows and I could not resist dipping it in before filming this video. I'm also wearing Typhoon and I really, really like Typhoon because I'm a little biased. It is a teal base with like a golden green reflex. And what I like specifically about this color is it's a little different from the typical like teal eyeshadows and pigments that I'm used to seeing. They're usually just straight up teal, straight up teal. And teal is beautiful, but sometimes there's not a lot of variation in teal. And I think that this kind of like steps it up from all of the other eyeshadows, all of the other teal eyeshadows that I already have and just kind of add some spice to it. And I am also wearing this color. I used Ritzy as my lip color. And then I added a little dash of Typhoon kind of like right on the center lid, just for some added dimension. I really, 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 really like this color. So Havoc reminds me a lot of Club Eyeshadow from MAC. It's almost a dead on dupe. It's that warm reddish brown with a green reflect. And it's the least pigmented of the bunch, but it is pretty. It's more, it's a more sheer version of it. So you could probably layer that on top of another color or vice versa, put another color on top of it to make it shine a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably my least favorite because it's just not that pigmented. The trick is if you use it on top of a green base, it really gets the green to pop, but once it touches the naked crease, it's like two, com it looks like two completely different eyeshadows. The next one I have is Secret Garden and it's, 
the dupe chrome is there on the website it says a deep espresso base with teal reflects teal um I don't know if it's my lighting, but I feel like I see a little a little indigo in there. A little violet, a little violet. It's it's a cool brown. Yeah, there's purple in there for sure. There's definitely some violet in there. In my opinion, it's probably the least duochromatic of all of them. This one can almost kind of pass as like straight teal if you're not really like paying attention to it. Or if your eye's not, like if, if you show this to a guy, a guy's gonna be like, yeah, that's blue. Next I have I'm Peachless. I'm Peachless, yeah, I'm Peachless. I'm Peachless, and this is a peach base that well actually I think the base is pink and it reflects peach it's really 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 pretty I'm almost kind of sad I didn't use this in my inner corner I used something else I guess I just wasn't paying attention to the shadow but uh, this is gonna look really really good with like greens and teals wow my tie is insane oh my god so this is supposed to be a peach base with orchid reflex is orchid actually a color let's talk let's discuss that okay i'm sorry an apricot base and did i what did i say before i don't remember it doesn't matter but it definitely definitely is giving me apricot so pretty it is like that neon pinky purple this is this is and this is intense this one is really really intense but I love it. Not a, not for a lip color at all. Way too intense for a lip color on my skin tone. If you're fair, this is going to look so sick on your eyelid. Like, insane. Okay, I have Rockstar. This is my first time swatching it. Okay, f I will bet $5 it's going to look just like Vex from MAC. Because on the website, it says silver base with purple pink reflex. Maybe I'm reaching, but let's find out. Okay. I knew it. I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. I'm a genius. This looks quite identical this is probably a cooler version and look how good that looks next to next to her sister Mai Tai that looks so good this one is a little dustier I will say Vex is more pinkier than it is silver but it's still a really cool color I wish there was a little more pink I, I need I would probably need to layer on I, I would need to make this color work it's it's a little dusty it is dusty now Phantom on the other hand is a whoa what are those? Phantom is a white base and white base sounds a little scary, right? But it's got purple reflex. Wow. There's once you rub this, this bracelet is getting on my nerves. Bah! Ugh. Bah! Feliciano. Once you rub that in, there's no white. There's no, I know my lighting is way too bright right now to see. Let me actually see. Can you see what I'm saying? Okay. You're picking up what I'm putting out. That right there, like what? Are you serious? Okay, now I have black light and woo, that is, wow. Okay, this with teals is going to be off the freaking chain, yo. Off the chain. So this is a purple base with icy blue reflex. Oh my God. The last eyeshadow I have is Steampunk, which is a black base with copper reflex and ooh, your fall colors right here, baby girl, right here, so pretty. That is one of those colors that's beautiful enough to be worn, no chaser, just straight up. Now moving on to the pigments, I really, really like Makeup Geeks pigments because they're super, super pigmented. Now the packaging that they have now for the pigments is different from the way that the packaging looked when I first started using their pigments. It seems like they're kind of going through an experimental process and I was happy with it, except with this batch, I actually had quite a few of my pigments that came cracked at the jar. I don't know what that's about. It's not leaking and I typically don't like travel with pigments or anything like that. So I'm not worried in that aspect about them like completely shattering and getting products all over the place. I'm not sure if it was just because my mail carrier or what, but like Makeup Geek, you guys might want to get that checked out, okay? Because out of the eight pigments that I have, there's three of them that are cracked like huge cracks in them yeah i don't know if it's my mailman or what but like that's not cool at all so all right so moving on to the swatches the first pigment that i have is ooh, prism is like the prism is like the pigment version of the i'm peachless eyeshadow i'm i wonder if all of these shadows have a corresponding pigment I guess we'll find out. But it's a white base with peachy pink reflex. Such a beautiful color. You could probably use it on top of like bright orange, bright copper colors, even some greens. I'm really excited about Sugar Rush because just from the website picture, it looks like creamsicle, okay? 
Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Oh my God, these are like, just like the shadows. Okay, so this one is another white base and it's got bluish purple reflex, a little bit of pink, but it's such a pretty like neon high shine color. And this reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot of Lumi from Sugar Pill. So if you have Lumi, I would pass on this one. And I, But you know what? I think Lumi might have a little bit more neon green, whereas this is a pink, purple, minus the green. It's just like purely white, pink, purple. Now Insomnia, I believe, was not brand new. I, I'm pretty sure I already have this one. It's a dead on dupe for MAC Blue Brown Pigment, and it's another one of those like reddish brown bases with like a green reflex. And I love these colors, especially in the winter especially in the fall winter. So Mood Ring is a pale gray with pink reflex and I actually like this one a lot more than I do Rockstar. They're kind of like shooting at the same basket, same base, same undertone, same uh, reflect, but this one is not as gray. So I think this one is a little bit more women of color friendly in my opinion. I would pass on Rockstar and get this pigment instead, Mood Ring which unfortunately looking at the website is sold out but for many obvious reasons it's a really pretty color kaleidoscope spilled that's what happens when i try to sing and work at the same time no i'm full well my butt can't sing anyway okay so what happened was i had left the caps off so that i can just pull and swatch to make this video run faster that was my fault okay so before i was so rudely interrupted kaleidoscope is supposed to be a slate blue base with pink teal purple reflex i don't see none of that okay i'm looking at okay i see the teal just kidding i'm lying <laughs> that's why it's called doing chrome duh okay because this is one of the cracked ones i'm having a hard time getting the cap back on oh i hope to god it is not bust. that would be really annoying okay i expect that chameleon is going to be fierce because I'm all the way, oh yes, and she is, she definitely is. So this is a deep teal base with gold reflex, and it's giving me more of a green than it is teal, like a lime green, but it's a beautiful color. And then the last two I have is Hologram, which is a, it's definitely like a peach, it's like a peach fizz, it's got like a peach base, but it, wow, that's like a super peacocky color, wow. <gasps> Oh my God, here it looks lime, and then here it looks like apricot. And then the last pigment I have is Wildfire, which is kind of like a coral, a coral base with golden yellow. It's like a yellow gold. It's got golden yellow reflex in it. All right guys, so that is all of Makeup Geek's newest duochrome eyeshadows and pigments. Remember, eyeshadows are $6, pigments are $12. Like, you pretty much cannot beat that. They're probably one of the best eyeshadows on the market right now, in my opinion. In my opinion! I've got links to all the products mentioned today down below in the description box. If you can't find it on the website, that means it's sold out. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to see you back here on my channel. If you are not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join the Jackie Anna family because, you know, it's the newest season, so you don't want to miss every new episode. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!